it up guys? Welcome to episode five of the Stud Muffins series to shredding. In episode three, you saw one of our cheapest ways to meal prep and JP shared one of his exclusive recipes. This one we're going with one of the most expensive ways to meal prep because when you're living life, you're also trying to enjoy and we're in Vegas or at the Wynn Buffet. What are you looking forward to? Are there any tips when you eat out to still stay within your calorie range? Like what kind of advice can you give people? So big piece of advice, if you're in prep, you want to be as specific and as, there's a word I'm looking for that is not specific. Um, not specific. Precise as possible. Precise, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. So that's why we brought the scale with us. You know, it looks weird to the average person, but this is gonna be crucial for eating out if you're trying to be as precise as possible on prep and still enjoy. You know, if you got an anniversary or something like that, you wanna go out, but you're, you know, four weeks out and you wanna, you know, make the, the missus or the mister happy, then you can just bring your scale with you, make it work, be flexible. You know, you don't always have to stick to a strict meal plan, which is what we're trying to show with this. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm eating because I have a thousand calories allocated for this lunch. So this morning I had breakfast. At dinner, right before I sleep, I like to sleep with a full stomach, so I allocated 500 calories there. So I have 100 protein, 40 fat, 60 carbs. So I could have a ton of seafood, like shrimp, crab, all that with zero grams of fat, still high protein. Then I could indulge in some of the more fattier red meats and it'll balance out because I have the scale. And one important thing that I always recommend to people is before you put it in your mouth, plug it in. Would you say the same? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because if you're in prep and your stomach is bigger than your eyes, then you're gonna go ham on that food. You're gonna plug it all in and be like, oh God, I'm a thousand calories over. So definitely do that. Because it's harder to also take it out once it's in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've tried before. It's it's not easy. And it burns. Not easy. It hurts. It hurts. You can't be going like this and then like, oh, I just yeah. vomit like the top. Oh, take it out. Take it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just the one piece though. Yeah. So um, do you know anything about the Wynn Buffet or any Vegas buffets for that matter? I mean, I've seen videos online, but never been before. First time. Yeah. yeah. So. I'm used to like $11 buffets, so this will be a, a little bit different. So there's like kind of two things to look for. There's two things about it. One, it's they have everything. Italian, Asian, Mexican, whatever. Um, so it's going to make you very hungry. And so that's the part that kind of like teases and punishes yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But the other side is there is a lot of different protein sources. So there is a lot of variation and things you could actually indulge in and still fit our Get a lot skin. of flavors. Yeah. All right, JP. Welcome to a Vegas buffet. We did a video at the Bacchanal, so this time we're visiting the Wynn Buffet. As your wandering eyes can see, we have a huge dessert section with pastries, cakes, ice cream, and all that. So we'll probably have to skip that first. But if you're like a person with a policy of like, as long as you don't touch is okay, look at all of this. What are your thoughts on the red velvet, chocolate, those chocolate pops, birthday cake? So I've had about three scoops of protein today. That's all I've had just yeah. for this. And that looks delicious. That's My mouth literally just started watering a little bit. <laughs> I had and, to swallow before I swallowed. <laughs> and this is just the start. We got Pause. donuts. Oh my. Fruit tarts. This is just the dessert section. Gelato. Dude, this toppings. So maybe after this series, we could do a bulking phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. After after prep, we're gonna have to revisit this. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And do like a you know Phantom Thirteenth episode or whatever the next number would be. Yeah. So we got two sides. Let's start on oh, this side or this side. Uh, which side has the crab legs, dude? Let's look <laughs> for the crab legs first. Let's yeah, go. yeah. Let's run it. As I'm walking by, just like touching everything. <laughs> It's like at a clothing store, you know, you got to feel the fabric as you walk by. Oh my. So I see the seafood down there. Dude. I see shrimp. I see crab legs. Is that your strategy? Kind of like bang out some of the super lean proteins and then work towards yeah. the... Yeah, uh, so I actually like that strategy a lot. Go with heavy on the proteins first. One, you're maximizing your bang for your buck. Yeah. And then two, it's very satiating. So once you get to the dessert portion, you're not going to be, you know, so, so hungry. Because right now, I could probably crush that whole dessert section by myself. Oh, we got some sushi right there. That looks great. 
So we got crab legs mm. and we got shrimp. Honestly, I'll probably get a couple plates of crab legs to start yeah. and then. That's the only way, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plate. Let's do it. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. Oh, thanks, dude. It's already kind of like pre-cut, yeah, might yeah, be yeah. easier. What that is that? One, it's like a that Dungeness one's crab? Dungeness crab. This one is split crab legs. I feel like I'm gonna grab more of these just because it's um already know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad easy. Yeah, that's work. But I do like Dungeons crab too though. Maybe grab some of that. I might. Let's see some of this. So I'll start with this. Honestly, just like just layered it on. I may as well just stand here and just eat here. Get started with that. Oh my goodness. a couple goodness. of these boys. Dude, sashimi and truffle and ponzu? No way. I have to grab one of these for sure. This is a good start. Yeah, we'll come back. it's a great start. Start with the seafood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Want to grab any sushi on the way back or no? I'll save it for another plate. Okay. I don't have room anymore. So basically what we've done here, we got another extra plate. So we're using this to zero out the scale since all the plates are the same. And then what I'm going to do is I'll just weigh all my crab legs right now, see oh, what it wow. comes out to. And then once I'm done, I'll reweigh all of the <laughs> empty shells here and I'll just subtract it from the total. That way I know the true weight of all the meat that I eat. Oh, so, wow. Super easy way to do it. So kind of like a mass. Yeah, mass. exactly. I was actually yeah, just yeah. going to take one out and then Yeah, versus having to like do it all at once. Yeah, just weigh the I meat. I see. So I yeah. should probably take the kimchi off. Yep, yeah, exactly. Because it's going to throw it off, So this right? is about, uh, about a pound and five ounces. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. In this video, plates just magically come and go. That's a. That's you know what I didn't get though? Any like smart. butter or like uh, lemon? Well, I'm not gonna do yeah. butter because I probably can't. Yeah, I'll I'd do rather it. I'd rather save it for the yeah. red meat. But okay, so zero it out. Yeah, perfect. Okay, perfect. Six ounces. Well, that's nothing. Perfect. Yeah. Six point two. So and then I'll, I'll just weigh write the in my notes because you probably will forget. Yeah. Um, that's actually way smarter, because had I weighed every single piece or deshelled every piece, and then it's not as fun. No, because then it takes the fun out of eating. Versus now, I can just eat. And yeah, it feels it very all. like clinical, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna go grab some of that butter. You're gonna get butter? Yeah, you dude. can afford it. I can afford it. I, I've had protein today. That's it. I don't think I can afford it. Flavor. I'd rather have red meat. Oh, and good. I think JP has more muscle mass than me, so he can't actually do that. I don't think I can. So how do you calculate that butter? So I'm just gonna go eyeball it, it honestly. Yeah. Um, just like see how much of it I've used, uh, knowing how much was in there initially, and then I'll just go by tablespoon. So fairly easy. And then usually like someone with a little bit more experience, since you're mm -hmm. a coach too, is it something where it's like. Because people that kind of hyper focus on the calories per meal, which is very yeah. important because it leads up to calories weekly. But ultimately, you're looking at calories weekly. So if you exactly. ate this and let's say your weight bumps up, then maybe the next two days you kind of like decrease the fats a little bit. Yeah. So back down. say if I went over like 300 calories today, I could just subtract 150 calories from the next two days and I wouldn't even feel it. But that comes with experience. Yeah, exactly. And not overdoing it because some people will take that too far where they're just subtracting 500 every day and I'm like, oh, I'll put it off the next day, the I next do. day, yeah. next day. But like, then it, after a while, like they're just not in a deficit anymore. Like a, like a calorie credit card. Except yeah. Except it goes to my belly. Yeah, yeah. they have, have a calorie cre credit yeah. card. <laughs> and my belly's hella in debt with so much fat on it. So for me, um, I don't have as much experience and I know how crazy I can turn into a crack addict and get carried away. I'm like, I'm gonna just be a good boy and this is delicious enough already. Yeah. Although that looks very good. I mean the lemon though. Crab you? is so good. The crab, mmm. Cause it's like one of those things you don't like, unless you're DJ Khaled, you're not eating crab every fucking night, you know? Mm. So you always forget how good crab is. Yeah. And then when you get at a buffet and it's like endless the amount. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, Maybe I'm just gonna go back and get more. Pat. And knowing that this is low calorie, oh, I might, I might crush like three plates of this. So, 
That big fat piece, is that Dungeness? This one? Mm. Oh no, that's Dungeness. Yeah, I did get oh, Dungeness okay. too though. I want to see if I could taste the difference. Like a real crab connoisseur. Oh, you know? okay. I wouldn't be surprised like that this doesn't even make a dent because crab is so lean. Yeah. You know, like I do the math right after. And I'm oh, like, I really Ooh. don't think it will. Like, I think we'll be surprised at how much you have left afterwards. Hell you know? yeah. See, got this thing of crab. Yeah, if I'm trying bit. to like spoil myself on a cut and I just want to be able to eat a lot of food, then just get a bunch of crab, shrimp, you know, a little seafood uh, boil kind of deal. Mm, yeah. Mmm. It's very good. So good. All right, so let's zero this bad boy out. I got all my shells nice and prepared. Take this one off. Put this one on. It's easy as that. So that's about nine ounces. So what is 21 minus nine? 12, uh, ounces. 12 ounces. So I've eaten about 12 ounces of crab, which is this many calories. So he, Not was, that many. he was smart. He packed this plate. I did it. Guess how many <laughs> ounces this was. I typed it in. I did the whole minus thing too. Mine was only 2.5 ounces of crab. Yeah. No wonder why I'm still you got a starving. <laughs> you but got a little taste. Here's a little uh, taste of what the macros look like. So for two and a half ounces, I had 10 grams of protein with only 1.2 grams of fat with zero carbs. So that's only 50 calories. Yeah. So if I were to just eat this alone with my thousand calorie allotment, I could have like 20 of these, which is pretty cool. But now we're done with seafood, so we're gonna move on to the next course. So I see an entire section that we can't have. You wanna just walk by it and can look? We, can we get the, yeah, just the visuals at least? Yeah, there's pizza. I'm a big pizza and starches and carbs type of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love carbs. So this is all Mexican food. We, we could probably swing some of that. Yeah, street a little bit. corn, carnitas, chicken machacha. I don't know what that is, but sounds good. Tamales. Ooh. I don't know that I've ever actually had a tamale. Roasted cod. You can yeah. actually have that, right? Fish. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So we got roasted cod. And then over here, you got straight up just pizza. Look at that. Oh, is that a truffle pizza? So we got a cheese pizza, a meat lover's pizza. Yes, and a truffle Oh, that sounds mushroom. so good, dude. Oh my good. Oh, more. And more crab legs. Oh, this is hot crab legs. The hot legs. ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Might have to run this back, honestly. Yeah. And then we got fish and chips, shrimp scampi, codfish, and a whole thing of just carbs. Yeah, just straight bread. So I'm in the mood for some red meat. How about you? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, let's go. Honestly, I'm not like nearly as hungry anymore after housing that 12 ounces of crab, yeah. which is why you pregame with the protein, then you can get the fun stuff later, and you'll be satisfied and not just eat, you know, all your calories and just cake. It's like jacking off before you go on a date. Exactly, you're exactly. Gonna be, come off way too thirsty. So they got pork loin. I know pork loin's pretty lean. Sliders, I'm not sure. Ham is pretty lean. Probably can't have any sausage. New York strip loin, prime rib, beef brisket. Oh, I think we get the New York strip loin. New York strip? Yeah. Excuse yeah, me, sir. Good. Could I have some New York strip loin, please? Can I have uh, another one? Thank you. Can I do Ooh. two as well? Thank you. Ooh, is that a little chimichurri on there? Yeah, That's good. Perfectly cooked too. Look at that. I got some, some grilled onions. onions. I love grilled onions. Nice. I might get some prime rib. This is a beef steamship. I don't know what a steamship is, but could I have some prime rib as well? Oh, you know what? It's like a little au jus. Oh yeah. Sounds good. I might put a little drizzle on that on there. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Moisture. Oh. Well, that looks good. Dude. That looks so good, huh? Switch spots with you. Get a little bit of Aju action. Oh my, oh, oh, just put it everywhere. Oh. Kind of want to get some carbs and stuff. Maybe. You can get some. I'm going to What else do I have over here? I'm going to see if I'm going to grab some grilled veggies. Mm. I want some fruits. Okay. You want to go see what else? Yeah, what else we got? Okay. Chinese food. Sounds good. Mainly carbs. 
on the custom like soup and noodle station. Yeah. Got dim With sum. Some wings. Ooh, those wings look good actually. The pork buns. Sounds good too. And egg rolls. Wow. Sush. I don't know I'm feeling sush. Some sush action. Actually, let me get a couple of these shrimp. Super easy to track. Three little shrimps. Is there anything else you want? Uh, yeah, probably. I think I'll grab some carbs on that side. Okay. Oh, that chicken looks great. Ooh, grilled tomatoes. What's awesome about grilled veggies is they're almost zero calories. So I can load up on it and they do with a lot of flavor because it's grilled and it has all that like fire taste in it. So then um, I can feel very satiated without taking too much calories. Ooh, mashed potatoes. Yeah, this is what I want. Dude, these mashed potatoes, this, Ooh, is this so just cute. butter? I gotta not overdo it on this. This is like a lot of cream and butter. I'm pretty sure it's that new fat-free mashed potatoes. Oh, sick, it's perfect for my macros, dude. Yeah. Nice. The mashed potatoes look good, though. It does look really good. Yeah. This looks like clouds. I'm gonna get a little bit more. <laughs> it looks like clouds. <laughs> All right, so first things first, I gotta weigh this bad boy, plug it in. So I'll start, already teared it and zeroed it out. I'll start with the prime rib with all the uh, juice stuff on it. Five ounces. And you really don't even have to weigh like the veggies and stuff like that, unless you want to get really, you know, precise no. with it. But he's still pretty far out. Yeah. So, so 5.2 ounces. Yeah, I'm going plug rib. my stuff in too. I think these guys are masters. Almost everything I weighed was exactly 2.5 ounces of meat. So I think they cut it specifically in good proportions. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. I'm gonna take the first bite, okay? Take a bite, take a bite. Let me know how it is. So I got prime rib with the au jus. It's all juicy. Dude, this feels so tender, just like mm. putting my fork into it. Nice. So I got six and a half ounces. Cannot beat that, New man. York strip. And then I'm just gonna plug this in as shrimp nigiri. So I'm not even gonna weigh that. And then I will weigh the mashed potatoes at the very end. Oh, smart. Yeah. All right. Tomato. Is there anything like this in Virginia? Not like this, to this Not extent. This level? Yeah, 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 no. We got wood grill. It's like yeah. a $12 buffet. Yeah, is that it's good? Basically the same thing. Basically, yeah. No crab legs. The meat's overcooked. <laughs> mashed potatoes aren't like this, but it's basically the same. But it was probably like one of those go-to like bodybuilding spots when you're in college, huh? Yeah, honestly, with cheap eats. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like such good calories, like for bulking. So I remember in in, um, in college for one of the summers I stayed at school, and then I would just load up at the cafeteria because you know the cafeteria is like buffet mm -hmm. style. So I'll walk up to like the burgers and sandwiches section. I'm like, can you just give me six chicken patties? And then they're like, what the hell? But then that's how I load it up. I was a kid that used to bring his scale into the college dining hall. Shit, wow. Yeah. I bet everyone made fun of you, huh? Yeah, they laughed. And then Pointed. now they're like, holy shit, JP is successful. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of funny though, because like, you know, like your homies will kind of like clown you at first for like getting in something new. Like when I first started lifting, that was like 120 pounds or something like that. And until like, you know, I've been a couple years in, they're like, oh, wait, you're actually getting big now. Like, hold on, wait, yeah. wait, wait. <laughs> So a lot of times when you're not making the food, it's really hard to account for everything accurately. So even though I weighed my meats, if I see a huge big old piece of fat, I'll just cut it off and I actually won't re-weigh the meat. I'll just go, okay, kind of underestimate a little bit. That way I can kind of control where I'm at. Versus, cause I'm sure there's gonna be like, like that oil that we saw on the broccolini. There's extra grease, extra like, cream on it so like it's really easy to go over so I just try to underestimate and kind of maintain like a buffer. Yeah, I think it's a great way to go about it especially in like a prep you always want to you know I say track yes. over versus you know tracking under and potentially being like 300 calories over what you thought. Right? Yeah. 
Yeah, especially because you can't account for like the oils and stuff like that you said. Yeah. So it evens out. Mm -hmm. When you're on a prep, what is like the thing you miss the most out of food? Food wise? Um, well, that's the thing though, because my cravings kind of get like way outside of my normal like food box. So just like anything and everything. Because when oh. I prep in those like weeks leading up to the show, yeah, my even my viewing like taste changes, and I like to start watching you know like competitive wow. eaters and you know wow. people. Yeah, yeah. So I'll get ideas of like eating from their videos, like because I'll watch like food challenges and stuff like that. Uh, and then I'll make a list and compile it, and then I'll find restaurants in my area or wherever the show is. Like I literally like make uh, each day like post show like eating kind of like uh timeline yeah for all the places i want to hit bang them all yeah out. exactly Hell so yeah. if the show i'm going to is going to be like wherever like new york or something like that i'll go and find like five restaurants i can go to like each day while i'm there like that's how excited i get about food during prep i fucking love food man. yeah just like i'll plan out like the food i can have later yeah <laughs> like weeks in advance yeah all right so i plugged in all the damage so far and with the New York steak, the prime rib, and the crab meat, we have 600 calories, right? I'm at 30 grams of fat, 80 grams of protein, ate zero carbs, and I did that strategically. You know why? Because now I got 387 calories left and 63 grams of carbs left. You know what that means? Sweets, baby. Zero fruit. I'm going to find a dessert that Zero fits here. Fruit. I'm going to get fruit because I love fruit. But I'm also going to get sweet. Oh, just because you like fruit? Yeah. Not I because really like you're fruit. trying to be a good boy? Mm -hmm. Well, I think I need the fiber too because I uh, haven't had like any fiber any veggies? today. I've had almost 300 grams of protein so far today. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In just this meal alone, I've had about 1,300 calories, 154 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs and 40 grams of fat. Oh, 300 grams of protein the whole day. The whole day. I yeah, thought you had no, not right just this meal. No, 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 no. Yeah, but in total throughout the entire day, um, I've had an additional 650 calories on top of that. So, I see. Yeah, yeah, so I only had 80 grams of protein, but I had about 50 earlier. So in total, I'm still missing about like 70 grams of protein, which I'll just make up with chicken breast. So this meal, I'm going ham a little bit, but then later I'm gonna really dial it back in. So I can't afford myself one or two pastries and that's what I'm gonna get. Yeah, I've got about 500 calories left for the day, so we can do a little bit more damage. It just smells so good. It just makes you feel like a better person, you know what I mean? It does. What are you gonna get? Are you gonna get cake, donuts? What are you thinking? I'm gonna be a good boy and plug, plug it in plug once it I come first. back around, but yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe a cake or a donut or something. The gelato looks so good too. Gelato is scary because I believe they use like, was like whole eggs or egg whites? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I got to type it in. All right, let's do this. Drinks, blueberry, mango, pineapple. Just a taste, juice, just a taste. Strawberry and lemon. Strawberry and lemon water? Oh, that's good. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just a taste, just a taste. Just, just a taste. See, look, literally, just a taste, dude. I'm not messing around. It's fine. Oh, dude. Oh, mango and pineapple? That's really good. Yeah, you got to try them all. Just a taste, just a taste. 20 tastes later, we're like. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> I'm not even drunk. Ooh. I think this one might be my favorite. I like that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I love berries. Look at these baby berries. pancakes. I wish I had a spoon. Is that pancakes? Oh, oh dude, that's Just sick. a taste, just a taste. <laughs> just a little pancake sample. Yeah, they got straight up whole bananas. I feel like if you're getting bananas at a buffet, though, you're kind of doing it wrong. You yeah, know? you're wasting, you're yeah, wasting yeah. everything. Fruit selection looks good. What is that, like dragon fruit or star fruit? Or oh, what? these are blueberries, dude. Oh, no, the other one's over there. <laughs> this guy doesn't know fruits. What is this? Like, little uni for a uh, dip for your fruit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is crazy, though. They have a... Uh, what is that? It's a star fruit star, dragon or fruit? dragon fruit, something like that. No, dragon fruit looks uh, different. It's like um, oh, it's like the white with the seeds in yeah, it. Yeah, it's like fleshy kind of. Yeah. All right. Oh, I should, oh, sorry. Sorry. These these are like uh, homegrown strawberries or something. 
the ones I get are like five times that size. So, you know, they're GMO modified. Maybe I'm getting a little bit of that runoff uh, fruit test. One of the things I do even when I'm bulking and I have a big sweet tooth is I'll just crush like pounds, literally pounds of fruit. And then if I still want my sweets after, then I'll have it. Because then I won't have, you know, six ice cream bars, I might just have two. That's actually smart. And I think I might do that because yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, pretty sure I could fit in two cakes. Yeah. And then your, your psychology starts getting ahead of yourself. Mm -hmm. You see you're doing the math right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I think I can have four donuts. <laughs> Based I, off the I science. Have the calories. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just a small taste because see, I went and did something else. I came back and got another little taste. You burned it off from walking over I, there. Exactly. I, wore, I sweat a little bit. I had to rehydrate. You don't want to dehydrate. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna eyeball the berries. Like berries are super low calorie, so. You know what I would do to make it easy? I would probably just type in two IHOP mixed fruits. Oh. You ever get, go to yeah, IHOP yeah, and yeah. get the mixed fruit? It literally looks just like, like that. this, and it's like yeah. this. Same kind of fruit. That's fruits. what I do, yeah. What I was planning on doing is I was gonna put all of the, like, eyeball the strawberries and all the blueberries and uh, blackberries. Yeah. And just put it all in as uh, blackberries. Oh, because it's, yeah. the, it's the lowest calorie. Yeah, anyways. it's pretty similar. Yeah. Yeah, and they're all very low cal. It's like 30 cows for what, like a cup or something. <laughs> so we're gonna walk through this section a little bit slow motion, just so I can kind of see what's going on. I'll walk like I'm on the moon. That looks good, the vanilla. I might save my calories for this. Some mango custard. Sounds so good. A berry crostata. Donuts. The red velvet. So you reach in, grab the sprinkles. Oh my. So I got just papaya as we were talking back there. Um, it probably is better for me to load up on some like healthier sweets, AKA fruits, before I go ham on desserts. So I got some papaya right here. Completely forgot how much it said. Okay, pound and four ounces. Really? Well, I'm gonna do that and then minus. Oh, minus the. Yeah, okay. yeah. I was like, that's a pound? Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. crazy. I'm doing a Hawaiian I style. I was good at, you know. Some lemon, splash of lemon on there. Is that a thing? Yeah, that's how they do it in Hawaii. It's oh. really, really good. I've never seen that. I'm also not big on papaya either. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, so, I just estimated all this as like about 150 calories worth of fruit, and then I just put it in my fitness pal as all blueberries. So, just like what a real strawberry is supposed to look like. The strawberries I get are like this big, you know? I feel like they went out of their way and like planted these for me. It doesn't taste like a cheesecake, but halfway there. Oh dang, dude. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so I emptied it. That's 14 ounces. So I had uh, 16 plus 4 is 20 ounces. 20 minus 14 had 6 ounces of fruit, of papaya specifically. So let's plug that bad boy in. Papaya six ounces my, my fitness pal would work oh there we go it's probably nothing usually it's nothing nothing six ounces only 73 calories but it's helpful because it satiates me like crazy super filling so now yeah. i let it rest a little bit and then how I much can... fiber was that i don't know can i scroll down oh uh, yeah Two yeah grams three of grams of fiber yeah, yeah yeah so now I'm way more satiated. I'm not craving stuff as crazy. Um, and then I'll top off the meal with a nice little dessert and some coffee. Yeah, I'm actually pretty full now after this fruit. So we'll see what I want dessert wise. Maybe a little something. Yeah. Start of the meal, I was like mouth watering for that dessert. And now after all that protein and fruit, John. I did a little spying and there's desserts on this side too. And I think this side kind of fits us a little bit better because they're bite-sized. So we can try more things and then just end up weighing it. So if you get yeah. like a little thing of cheesecake, you can just weigh it and go, okay, that's like 20 grams of cheesecake or whatever. So it's right over here. 
Also, a little hack for you guys. If you just like put it in your mouth, you can fully chew it, then you just spit it out after. You don't even have to eat it. Just yeah. to get the taste. And throw up. You know? And then you can actually <laughs> yeah. lose. Yeah, and then... <laughs> <laughs> See, Barber Brigade promotes bulimia. <laughs> yeah. Look at all these little guys. Oh, right dude, that's awesome. Isn't this perfect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab just so a couple, good. you know? And then it's just like a pl sampler. plug it in. Do these even have calories? I don't know. I don't actually. I think they're actually calorie free because it's so small. So small. My body won't register it. No. It's going to pass right by the calorie counter. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> here's a little plate for you. Oh, yeah, kind yeah, yeah. sir. There's a little cheesecake, a little baby cheesecake. No sugar added Ooh. cheesecake. No sugar added. Might get one of these. I'm thinking, uh, I like these little cup things. What's going on in here? Yeah, I think I might get one of these guys. Oh, I like a little mousse. A little oh, dude, tart, this is right? Dang. This is probably two, 300 calories now. If I could find something small enough, I could probably still put it in my mouth. Pistachio cake, chocolate dome, lemon meringue. Ooh. Or tiramisu. Tiramisu, dude. Yeah, tiramisu Sounds for good. sure. That's it. It's probably 400 calories right here. I have a 380 allotment, but it's a little bit over. What I like to do even on days that um, I'm eating out a little bit more just to make sure I stay under, I'll go over by a thousand or two thousand steps, or I'll do a quick 20 minute circuit just to keep my weight in order. And if I wake up and I'm heavier, then uh, the other day I'll actually adjust for it. That looks good. I don't even know what I got. I got these uh, two little mixed drinks and this little <laughs> yeah. accompanying, you know, Termosu. bowl. Yeah. That's Termosu it. This sounds so good. Bada bing, bada boom. There's a little chocolate egg in there. Oh, dude. Bread pudding. I love this stuff. Oh, me I just too. don't know how to plug that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of hard to track. Nice. All right, let's go. Let's do it. And the nice thing is, I've overestimated for everything. So even if I hit my calorie goal for the day, I'll probably still be a little bit under that. Whoops. Let's see. Got a little cheesecake action. Mmm. Ounces. Okay. How much do these uh these bad boys weigh? It's like 40 grams of tiramisu. So that's how I'll plug it in. I really don't know what these are, so. I might just put in some like arbitrary thing. I'm assuming this is like a mousse. Yeah. Oh, it's so like rich. Yeah, it's good. Super good. I do like that this is a no sugar added cheesecake. So probably whatever I plug in, it'll be under. So that makes me feel safe. But I do have some like berries inside. Mm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A second before this, I was like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have dessert, but now that I'm eating it, I'm, I'm glad I got exactly. that. Yeah, I'm like, I could definitely have more of these. <laughs> do you do what I do where like, if I do eat out a little bit more than that day, I'll bump up my steps by a thousand or two thousand or do like a small like light cardio session just to kind of like buffer it a little bit? I might do that, not because I'm gonna get more steps to like burn more calories, but more so just because like it makes me feel better digestion wise. Oh, I see. But I think that's good. So yeah, I totally like walking after me like big meals like that. Yeah. I feel like it helps the food settle a little bit and doesn't make me feel quite so like bloated and full. I see. You know, get the things moving around. Yeah. All right guys, so you've seen us meal prep the cheapest way possible. This is probably the most expensive way to meal prep because yeah, yeah. I think in this one meal, I think it was $70 a person or something like that, which yeah. is crazy. Imagine doing that for two, three meals a day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is, dude, three meals a day at $70, that's 210 times 30. What is that? $6,000? Dude, this is an Elon Musk meal prep? Yeah. So this is, of course, you don't do this all the time. Title that. The Elon <laughs> Musk meal prep, $6,000 yeah, yeah. a month. It's extremely delicious. Thank you for following us. Stay tuned for more videos in the Stub Muffin series to shred it. We're gonna be doing more posing, training, and a lot more tips so you guys can follow along. See you guys in the next video. Peace.